Welcome to my review of the Gerding XR12 heated gloves. I've actually had these gloves for a few months now and um, before I bought them I was quite disappointed with the reviews or, or the actual lack of reviews there were on YouTube and I thought with winter uh, soon to be among us again um, it'll be useful to have something up there for other people. Um, there's been a few surprises with these gloves um, and most of them positive. A lot you go onto a lot of the forums and they are generally talking about you know them not being waterproof or they don't have this or they don't have that and I was very uh, nicely surprised uh, by uh, being able to put all those uh, concerns to bed so I'd just like to share that uh, what I actually found with uh, you out there um, apologies for the I unprofessional review um, this is I am unprofessional at this so you'll have to bear with me uh, but really, it's a layman's review for the layman. So, this is the packaging. Um, everything was basically in here. And I'm only showing you this so I can turn it over and show you exactly what it says here because you might be buying them online and you don't get to see this. So, you can see here that the glove heats the entire length of each finger, thumb. I know they talk about that. Um, that's correct. I, that's fantastic. Um, this is the bit I want to draw your attention to. Aquatex waterproof breathable membrane. Absolutely correct. I've not had any problems with any leakages, any uh, dampness or anything with it in the gloves. They are absolutely fantastic. Um, and I find you know, that this bit here with the warmth and dexterity, I find the movement in the gloves absolutely terrific. So just wanted to draw your attention to that. Uh, the sizing as well here. Um, I know they go on about getting a, a size larger. Um, here we got here, this, this is a large for Gerding, which they call a 9. I've got a pair of like, RSTs, uh, which you use for the summer. Um, they're a 9, um, and I find these absolutely perfect. So, uh, take that the way you wish. Um, what comes in the packaging? I'll put this to one side. What comes in the packaging? Um, you get a bunch of fuses first, um, and that's all to do with the load of the actual set of gloves. Uh, of the actual heated gear that you possess so if you have more than just the gloves you're pulling on the battery so you'll need a, a, a bigger fuse the actual lead that connects to your battery which I'll show to you later um, has a, uh, a fuse box on there so it's, it's in line on the lead so all you need to do is put the right fuse in it and you have something here like this which tells you depending on how, how much gear you've got then what fuse you should use and the fuse is the old numpty like me if you didn't know before then I can't see that but they've got the ampage on the fuse so you shouldn't need to worry about that um, and I should actually say I am a numpty when it comes to all this sort of stuff because I was really worried about how to install it and it was very very easy so to the gloves themselves here they are you can see they are armoured um, I saw people on the forums talking about gloves that weren't armoured I think they're getting mixed up with other versions of heated gloves uh, that are done by Gerbing. Um, these ones are armoured. Uh, these ones are also the hybrid versions so they can have the battery in here. I don't have the battery um, and I'll tell you why I didn't get the battery in a bit. Um, they also do have a wiper blade. Uh, a lot of the forums say they don't have a wiper blade. Um, yes it does. It's fine. And this is, you can see the palm armour here as well. So if you go sliding, hopefully, you can see it there, that should protect the inside of your hands if you do happen to put your arms out so that's fine you can see here as well uh, the lead that comes out that will connect to um, the actual switch which I'll come to in a moment the other glove is exactly the same of course it doesn't have the wiper blade you only get that on one hand but uh, otherwise identical the reason I didn't get the batteries I heard they were very very heavy they're expensive I think they're 80 pounds here in the United Kingdom um, and if you don't use them throughout the year if you're only using them in winter you have to keep them charged because obviously they're lithium batteries so you have to keep them charged and if the battery goes completely dead you're not going to be able to charge it that is just a way of those types of battery so unless you remember to keep a little bit of charge in the battery throughout the year uh, you might you might end up paying for them again um, so just a, a bit of warning and I actually got that from someone uh, let's say very very well connected to this gear no pun intended right so those are the gloves. Um, oh yes, and obviously gauntlet style, um, and you know, they're very very comfortable, very comfortable indeed. Oh, I should show you the stitching, uh, the front. 
I was worried about that letting in a bit of cold, absolutely no problems. Um, and I'll talk about the heat when I get out to my bike in a bit. So, the switch is this thing, and I'll spread it out like that so that you can see how it's going to have to work with your jacket. You can see here, I'll use my finger, that's the thing that connects to the thing from your battery, which I'll show you later, and these connect to each glove. Now that's obviously going to go down your arms. I found this quite finicky. Um, it would be nice if they actually d uh, developed some sort of, I don't know, some, some kind of waistcoat or something it sounds, sounds a bit strange but something that you're able to just attach this to it would be fantastic um i think i'm, I'm probably just gonna have to construct something so i can put on whenever i want to wear my heated gloves and then i just put my jacket on because having to stick that down my liner all the time and it just gets a little bit you know a bit finicky for short journeys um and my hands being the way they are i still need my gloves for my short journeys so um that's just uh to, to show you guys what that's like. The switch is got, I think it's got four settings on it. So, if, you know, for each quarter, if you like, of power. Um, and that's basically it. The only thing I haven't shown you now is the bit that attaches to your battery. So I will go outside, wheel my bike out, and show you that. Okay, I said I'd show you the bike and the connection. Uh, this is the Yamaha XJ6. Um, the seat's been removed. And as you can see, this is the connector that came with the gloves. Um, get a bit of quite a good bit of length here with it. I've had to spiral it to uh, keep it tidy. Um, but ultimately, you have two circular uh, connectors, which you just connect to the battery. Um, they, they, you can see the earth there. That one. The, one of the connectors underneath. You can just see that. Um, and the other one is obviously under the live there. The inline fuse box, uh, which I talked about earlier on with the fuses, is there. You can just see it, hopefully you see that in the sunlight. There it is, and inside is, I think I've got a 5 amp fuse because I've only got one bit of uh, gear. One bit of heated gear, that's fine. And then it just comes out from under the seat to wherever you feel you need it. Um, mine just hangs there, and it's got a cover on it to help from the rain. So, Anyway, you get the point. That's it there, and that will connect to. If I pull the switch out, that bit there. So, obviously, I need two hands to do this. So I've got to just press the pause button again. Right, we're back. So, there it is. That just comes off there. You've got the other connector here. Plug them in like that. And that is essentially it. And you have your switch, which is obviously coming out of your jacket. And to change your settings, it's just multiple presses of this. Oh, you can see there, it's flashing away. Probably telling me it's not connected to the gloves. Okay. When it's connected to the gloves, you have a different color setting for each heat setting. I'm just going to disconnect that again. I should just say, um, I did find the highest setting on the gloves uh, unbearable after a while. Um, it did leave a little reddish mark on my hand. I wouldn't say it burnt me. Um, I know some forums have gone on about them burning, but it did leave a, red, a kind of reddish mark. It's come down, I'd say, down this side. So whatever heating element is kind of in that area, sort of around the back of that hand there, left me with a bit of reddish mark. So I'd stay away from the, the highest temperature if you've got uh, sensitive hands like me because I'm a sensitive lad. So um, anyway, I hope that was helpful. Um, I'm not going to wire up the gloves because you can't feel the heat. You just have to take my word for it. But that is basically what they're like physically. Um, so you can see them uh, without having to visit a shop and maybe have a bit more confidence if you want to buy them online. Um, ask me some questions. I'm more than happy. Um, and yeah, have a good winter. Bye.